Hey everybody, Ravensky23 here. Um, with a bad cold. I know everybody's got a cold. Um, mine is like in the transition between head and chest cold. When I start coughing, um, uh, I feel it more down in my chest today. But it's been, the sinuses suck. Um, anyway, enough of that. Anyway, this too shall pass. Um, I made a video yesterday, but I didn't realize that the zoom on the camera was zoomed way in on me, and now when I watch it, um, when I replay it and stuff, I've noticed that it really kind of sucks. Um, I did try to felt the little sample of the yarn that I had in the last video, and it did a really nice job of felting. But it's not the size that I was looking for. I was looking for more coaster size. So I needed just knit a smaller one, which is actually will be fine. And I can use this for a hot pad. I thought that would be really cute. So the other update on uh, on Jake, um, our new dog coming up next week. Um, um, the way this all transpired, um, I told you a little bit of last week, we went and saw Jake on last Wednesday. Um, had to drive down to Stanford, which is about an hour and a half away in a good weather. A little less, maybe, in real good weather. But this, it, it was just, it was dark, because it gets dark so early now, and there was just torrential rain. Um, we get down there, and she's a very nice lady, the lady that has him. Um, she's a very small, petite lady. She's very short, and he's 40 pounds. He weighs about 40 pounds. Um... I didn't take my camera down there, but I was very tempted, um, at least for some still pictures or something, but I didn't. I restrained, and so anyway, he um, this week we definitely will because we're bringing him home. I know, I'm so excited, and he's so cute. He, um, a little bit about him, the woman that showed him, um, or that, that bred him, also showed him, and he got his championship at nine months. Um, and his name when he was born, um, it's it's Rocky Ridge uh, Cardigans. Um, or is it Rocky Ridge Corgis? I'll put the link over here. She's in Pennsylvania. And um, so anyway, <laughs> off the track there. She doesn't breed very many dogs. Um, but she does show dogs, and her and her son do. And he um, was shown by both of them. There's pictures of him on the website with both of them. And his name back then was Carson. And I love the name Carson. I would love to call him Carson. And we kind of had intended to see if he would go back to that, you know. And so when we went down there to see him, um, I didn't really want to do it in front of the owner because I didn't want to make her feel bad that we were going to change his name or anything like that. Although I, don't, I think she'd have been cool with it. <coughs> but, excuse me. So, what I did was, um, she left the room for just a second to, to go get something, um, and I just, I looked at him, and he was laying on the couch, and I said, Carson, and his head perked up, and his eyes opened up, and his tail started wagging, so I'm like, uh-oh, he remembers that, he remembered the name. So, but anyway, so the first, well, he should, because the first two years of his life, he was called Carson. Even though his real name, I started to say that, was Rocky Ridge Bonanza. So, anyway, for the last year of his life, the owner had called him Jake. And that's just a name she liked. She said she thought she wanted something nice and simple when you're calling him, uh, as far as training purposes. And she said he just looked like a Jake to her. So, there you go. So, um, anyway, so I think we're going to keep Jake, the name. Of course, we're keeping the dog. But anyway, so at nine months of age, he got his championship. And then she had him neutered because she was not going to, to breed him. Because she had, from litters before, two or three other uh, male dogs that she was using for breeding. And that's it. But um, So she had him neutered. And then he stayed with her till she was two years old. And when she went, he went to live with his current owner... Um, he had immediately two other siblings. Uh, they were English cockers, her English cockers that she has. And uh, he got along just fine with them. But the only thing we don't know 
is how he gets along with cats. And also, I'm not really sure how to introduce them because it's a new house where neither of them have been yet, the cats or the dog. So I'm not really sure how to do that, how to introduce them. Any ideas? Let me know. Which should I bring in first? You know, the cats so they feel like it's their home. Um, but they won't be there long enough to feel like their home's being invaded. So maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. What do you think? Please let me know. Uh, quickly, because it's going to happen on Wednesday, some one way or another. Wow, so right like in the middle of uh, my last thing I was saying there, um, <laughs> the, the SUV next to me moved, backed up, um, and left. So now I'm in the sun. Now I've got this like half mask thing going on. Oh, another thing about him is he's crate trained, which is good. And, uh... You know, you just she says you just say um, kennel to him at night, and he he likes to sleep in there at night, and you close the you know the door and everything, and he stays in at night, and then you know, so that's perfect for us, um, if he's that he's used to that because that way the cats at night can sleep up on the bed and that sort of thing and not worry about you know in case there is some friction at the beginning because they normally sleep on our bed. And the other thing is he just just graduated from therapy dog training. His owner took him to therapy dog training. And to be a therapy dog, you really need to be a gentle, um, um, pretty mellow. Uh, they, one of the things they do is they lay down, lay down the dog and they touch him pretty much everywhere. And poke at him, you know, try to get him to see if there's anything that pushes his button as it were. Because, like, you know, if you took him into say, a cancer ward with kids that have cancer, and they're playing with the dog, petting him and stuff. You've got kids coming from all angles, pushing at him and everything. Some dogs can't deal with that. Some dogs would not deal with that well at all. So, um, another vehicle just pulled in, so the light's a little better. And where was I? Therapy dog training. So, he had to take several weeks of this and several weeks of that, and finally he has graduated from... And he took the therapy training really well. Um, because he is just such a gentle dog, so. Alright, so I'm going to try this vlog for like the one millionth of a billionth time. <laughs> um, I keep getting interrupted by people uh, walking by, coming, you know, people that are, anyway. Sorry about the, um, cough drop, too, by the way. But, um, I put it in my mouth and they're like the longest lasting cough drops ever. They're actually very good. What the heck are they? They're the sugarless hauls. Just sugarless hauls with vapor action. Love it. Anyway, um, hopefully the cold's going to get better. We just went to Walmart and bought a bunch of dog stuff. For anybody that's watched my last video and that knows um, about Jake, I'm going to go get Jake this Wednesday. Uh, I have half a day off of work, and so we're going to swing down there and pick him up and bring him home to the new house. So we'll be camping out with Jake, and we'll also be on very limited um, viewing time here on YouTube. I don't think we'll... I, I'll post a video, obviously I'll have to post a video with pictures of Jake running around and stuff. And um, um, so definitely I'll post at least that one. And, but then I don't think I'm going to be able to post anything till after the new year, because... Um, they aren't moving our DSL line from the house where we're at now down to the new one. <coughs> Excuse me. They aren't going to do that until um, January 2nd. Um, I may be able to get it pushed up, but I don't think we'll be ready for it. We really don't need the distractions. We really need to finish the house. Because our building inspector is not going to be happy that we've moved in before he gave us even a temporary CO. So, anyway, I want to show you real quick this because I see that Rafe is coming to get me. Anyway, and this is the sweater I'm working on that I'm almost done with for my granddaughter. See that, um, the white on there? It's an elephant. I did it in duplicate stitch over the top, and there's a little glass bead for an eye. But, um, it's going to have an elephant on both sides. Okay, except for not having the buttons on. Which I've got the buttonholes in there. Um, and of course, it needs to be washed and blocked. Um, but I finished the little elephants. And if you can see them very well. There we go. 
They aren't exactly perfect, but they're pretty cute. They got a little bead for the eye. This guy over here. And then I did the little detail around the sleeves. Anyway, so one project done and ready to be mailed off. Now, back to my socks. Latte Sue had told me that I might get second sock syndrome, which I suffer from, but <clears throat> here's the here's the pattern, hydrangea, in this book. That's a different color. I love the color of that sock. And it's in the book, The Eclectic Soul. And here is the start of the second sock. Yay! So I'm not going to end up with second sock syndrome. See, Sue, I'm going to finish it.